Hi, my name is Andres. I'm a PhD student at the Music Technology Group of the University Pompeu Fabra in Barcelona. The work that I'm going to present is titled Melon Playlist Dataset, a public dataset for audio-based playlist generation and music tagging. This work was done in collaboration with Xavier Serra and Dimitri Bogdanov from UPF and Kakao Corp from Korea. One of the main limitations in the field of audio signal processing is the lack of large public datasets with audio representation and high quality annotations due to restrictions of copyright commercial music. We present Melon Playlist Dataset, a large public dataset of Mel spectrograms for 650,000 tracks and 150,000 associated playlists, annotated by 30,000 different tags. All the data is gathered from Melon, a popular Korean streaming service. The dataset is suitable for music information retrieval tasks, in particular auto tagging and automatic playlist continuation. Even though the latter can be addressed by collaborative filtering approaches, audio provides opportunities for research on track suggestions and building system resistant to the cold start problem, for which we provide a baseline. In a previous work, we compared commonly used MEL spectrograms representations and evaluate model performance that can be achieved by reducing the input size in terms of both lesser amount of frequency bands and larger frame rates. The input MEL spectrograms were computed following different configurations that are commonly used in the literature. These are all the combinations that we considered. In this previous work, we identified that it was possible to preserve a similar performance while reducing the size of the input. Based on these findings, we created the Melon Playlist dataset using uh, 48 mel bands, 16 kHz sampling rate, frame and hop side of 512 and 256 samples, and HAN Windows function. This figure shows the distribution of number of tags, genres, and tracks in the playlist of the dataset. We can see that the playlist contains up to 200 tracks with 41 tracks on average. The average for uh, number of tags per playlist is 3.91 with a maximum of 11 tags in a playlist. The number of different genres in a playlist on average is 6.31 with a maximum of 26. Considering the genre annotations, 25% uh, of the tracks in the dataset belong to only Korean music genres, 38% of the tracks to non-Korean music genres, and 27% of the tracks to both Korean and non-Korean genres. In this figure, uh, we see the distribution of tracks concerning their uh, release year. As we can see, over 95% of the tracks in the dataset were published after the year 1990. The Melon Playlist dataset is suitable for multiple tasks in the field of audio signal processing music information retrieval and recommender systems. For example, it can be applied for sequential recommendations, music classification and automatic tagging or automatic playlist continuation. Due to the large amount of data, multiple novel methods can be applied such as deep learning, uh, deep metric learning, representation learning and semi-supervised learning. Here we provide an example of application for the dataset. In this case, we do automatic playlist continuation. This task on recommending a list of tracks to uh, continue a given playlist. A collaborative filtering approach usually offers the best performance according to offline metrics in this task. Um, given that collaborative filtering is not possible to recommend items without any previous interaction, which is known as the cold star problem, in the last years, uh, deep learning approach have been proposed to overcome this problem by predicting the collaborative representation from the audio. Melon Playlist dataset is the first public dataset to contain playlist information together with directly available audio information of the tracks on a large scale, allowing to experiment with such audio-based approaches. To this end, we split the songs of the Melon Playlist dataset considering different levels of popularities. We consider the tracks in more than 10 playlists in the train set and with 10 or less uh, playlists um, the tracks uh, that are in the test set, uh, which we further divide in three subsets depending on the number of times that the tracks appear in the playlists. Similar to Van der Oort, we 
um, at all. We, pro we train a matrix factorization model on the train set. With the matrix factorization model, we obtain the latent factors of the tracks and playlists. Then we train a audio model to predict these factors from the MEL spectrograms provided in the MEL, MEL on playlist dataset. Once trained, we apply the model to predict latent factors from the cold start tracks in the test set and match those predicted factors to the playlist latent factors. All the evaluations, we compare the audio approach to the random baseline and the collaborative filtering approach used as our lower bound and upper bound baselines, respectively. This table shows the overall performance using all considered tracks in the test set for ranking. In addition, we independently evaluated the three subsets of the test set, generating separate ranking lists among the tracks with different popularity. From these results, we can see how, depending on the level of popularity of the tracks, the performance of the audio model varies. To conclude, we presented the Melon Playlist dataset, the first public large scale dataset of commercial music, including the playlist, audio representation, and tags all together submitted by users verified for their quality annotations. Since the dataset reflects the music consumption in Korea, it offers novel opportunities to diversity. Uh, in uh, MIR research. The dataset has various applications. As an example, we consider automatic playlist continuation in a cold start scenario and train a baseline model to predict the latent factors of collaborative filtering from MEL spectrograms. The, me the dataset main limitation is that it provides MEL spectrograms instead of audio, making it impossible to apply methods based on other audio representations, such as the raw waveforms, Nevertheless, we provided MEL spectrograms that are suitable for the task of automatic tagging and automatic playlist continuation, which are the main focus of the proposed dataset. They offer a good trade-off considering the common limitations of reusing copyrighted commercial music in the field of MIR and audio signal processing. Besides, due to the large scale of the dataset, the reduced audio representation lowers distributable size, facilitating transfer and storage. Thanks for watching our presentation. For more details, you can read the paper or join us in the ICAST poster session. Thanks.